Hello everyone, this is Yanni again from J Drones, and uh, today um, one of my friends from China, he sent me a nice uh, uh, RC controller and, and, and I'm going to now show you and we are going to go through the normal features of that one and, and then looking uh, what other thing, what, uh, what other kind of softwares we have installed on the, the default uh, setup and, and uh, so forth. Alright, so let's get going. All right. Um, yes, Frank from CG. Uh, they are making this uh, really nice looking uh, Android-based uh, ground station systems for for all kind of our operation use for autopilot systems. Uh, uh, px 4s and there's there's many other 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 software that you can use with this one. Uh, so uh, here we have the whole box. Um, let's see what all we have in here. The main a radio controller, which is a, a decent size. It's about what would I say? Maybe about seven eight hundred grams uh, in weight. I will put the, the uh, I will put the whole uh, uh, details and technical details on the description down below. I was planning to use my uh, computer, but surprise, Microsoft is again want to have uh, some updates going on, and it's been updating now last two hours, so no computer currently. So, all right, uh, mm. there's the computer, there's the what that uh, controller. Let's put the radio, the battery under it now. There, uh, then. Uh, we can move it a little way. So other things what we have in here, where nice strap for for holding uh, the radio. You can put on your neck. Uh, it goes on on these one uh, connectors or the upper one locks. Um, then of course a charger, a cable USB. Uh, it goes in here. I will go through these old ones a bit later on. Uh, then we have some. Uh, Camera, vibration and dampening stuff uh, that you can put on your copter or aeroplane or whatever you would want to use. Um, uh, this one is most likely a yeah. This is the, the a serial serial cable that you can use for for uh, all your needs when you're connecting on, uh, let's say, uh, autopilot systems or, or all the other autopilot systems. For our packages, we are going to make our own cables in here, and there's also going to be instructions and stuff like that. So, so yeah. Uh, then we have, uh, yeah, what I said about the instructions. The instructions will be, of course, in English because most of these ones are in Chinese. So, we will fix that one for, for all the, uh, our deliveries. There's a, a dongle that you can uh, do a, a uh, updating the firmware on this one. Um, then we have the receiver package. Uh, there's a, a, um, a UBEC. This one can take uh, 6 to 12 S. Well, I actually think that even, even 3 S would be just fine. Uh, we will see that soon, by the way. Uh, we have... What, do I have any... I have a pencil in here. So, not the best one, but... So, in here we have a, a S bus output and then there's one, two, three, four, five PWM outputs. We have a, a UART output in here. Uh, we have a camera connection in here. And then we have the, the antenna. So as a default, it comes with a, I think these are 3 DPI or maybe even 5 DPI uh, Dipoli antennas. But yet again, I will put the, the details in the description field. So, so. There, uh, let's put that one here, and then the last one is the camera. So this is a nice package because you don't need to have any external camera. It comes with the camera already, and there's lights for for evening operation. So it's a pretty nice uh, package on overall, and then. Uh, Really useful for, especially like a for entry level systems and, and a little bit beyond that one. So um, there is another one, uh, AK28HD. 
that I will make a review later on. That one has a HDMI input, so you can put whatever camera you want to have by yourself. But this one model is, is meant for, for using this ready-made camera. All right, so let's put these ones away because we don't need them now. Put it in here, pencil away. So the radio controller itself now. Uh, okay. We have we have a removable battery, which this one is a I think was it like two thousand five hundred million million battery and, and uh, you can replace when you when you're running out of the battery uh, charging cycles you can always uh, replace this one which is a nice thing always so. Uh, what all do we have in here? Antennas, uh, they are both 2.4 gigahertz. Um, the, the other one model have 2.4 and 5.8 gigahertz, but this one only have 2.4. So we have a plus buttons in here, uh, three-way switches, two PCs, uh, some potential meters uh, for like for other gimbal control and whatever you want to have. Uh, then we have three-way, two-way, three-way, three-way, and then of course the normal joysticks. And oh yeah, I forget these um, the connectors. So on the bottom we have under this one rubber lip we have the normal charging port, so you can charge your your. Uh, device and, and uh, by the way, when you're charging it, it has to be powered off. If you have powered on on a tablet, you cannot charge it. So remember always turn it off. On behind the second lid, we have a SD card, so you can record all your data on an SD card. And then we also have a, a, a SIM card slot, but uh, this one, my model currently don't have the SIM card slot, so that's that's something what will be in the future. And then under the last one, we have a serial output and headphones output. Right, and of course, we have some loudspeakers and, and uh, beepers and stuff like that. So, pretty strong, quite nice. Now, I think we can take this cover out, it looks much more better. Power it on. Do I have a battery? I should have a battery here. Come on! There we go. There we go. It takes you have to you have to press it like about two three seconds to power it on because it is an Android tablet inside. So, and we have an uh, information LED that shows you whether do you have an RC links and others. So that's a nice thing. So no need to really go and looking around and, and uh, playing around. While it reboots, let's put it there. I can connect. I'll go through this one. So it's a plastic case. The only, let's say, the only thing what I've been talking with with uh, C uh, people and other, they need to really change this uh, connection uh, for the power cables because if you if you are if you have to take it out and inside often. There will be some issues that, that the, the cable will be broken or whatever, but as long as you know that even these current uh, models with on the market are fine, but you have to just support it a little bit. Um, camera. Okay. So we have a, a GH, uh, JST GH connector for the camera. And this one is, was it like for 720? TVL camera, which is pretty okay. Yeah, we are rebooting. Ah, the lovely noise. It makes quite horrible noise when it reboots, but that's that's fun. You can always dampen it down. So there. Just a quick review first of the software. Let's open the antennas. We don't want to keep them all. So, like I said, this is a normal Android. Uh, you can update uh, uh, 
uh, from uh, Android Store, Google Store, uh, App Store, uh, all the applications, which is always nice because, uh, you know, software updates always are ha coming handy when you have uh, some new features or bug fixes or whatever, so it's easy to update. Um, this is a, a just default setup uh, what what people are uh, shipping it out always. Uh, we have the normal Android stuff in here. Um, then we have a QCRUN control, which is nice. Uh, when we have then we have the CE FPV program and, and CE TX configurator program. So let's open that configurator program there. Uh, let's see. I don't see. I don't think we see enough. Can I? Okay. So we have a, a basic configurations in here, a receiver, channel setups, data link, system, uh, video. Uh, I'm going to get it closer. No. Okay, now it. All right. All right. So there. Uh, receiver setup, signal mode, what kind of a mode you have, EPM, uh, SPAS, PWM outputs, uh, linking uh, things. Uh, The uh, channels, uh, all the race, uh, RC channels you can set. There's, uh, there's actually a lot of them. So, uh, switches, I think they are somewhere. What is this one? SF. Uh, okay, there we have SF. So, you can see all the states of the, the uh, channels. Um, uh, data link, uh, what kind of a connection we have uh, between and what autopilot we have. Just like in the current, I have an APM in here. There's a Wukong, Top XCAN, I don't know, Yi Yi, uh, some, some Chinese models and others, an APM, and uh, yeah. Board rates, video, uh, oh yeah, video transmitter is not on currently. Uh, fail safe setups, what, what uh, goes on uh, when you want to have a fail safes. Uh, let's see, there, now you can see better. Uh, model type, flight control, and all that kind of stuff. All right, so that looks pretty okay. The Q ground control, let's see, most likely, because now I have not uh, connected anything, so most likely this one will crash on the first time when I when I click the connect USB device, which is still quite normal. There's I know that there's a new update coming, which is going to fix that one problem. But uh, anyways, it's not an actually issue because uh, I click it on. Yeah, it crashed. I wait a few seconds open app again and now it should be all opening just fine because this is basically just because of I don't have a connection yeah there we go so we have a, a, a normal uh, Qcron control in here which is made for for Android so you can do all that kind of missions and others now then uh, the other programs uh, do I have a, oh yeah I do have a battery in here okay this one is a uh, 3s 3000 million battery all right, now we have a link. Uh, let's see where can I put all these ones. So we have a link in here. Uh, let's open the FPV program. There we are. Yes, yes, you can, you can use the USB. Ah, there. Ah, it looks like I have a camera upside down. Let's turn it. So. Uh, um, I can bring my tablet in here, so there. Oh, maybe not. All right. Let's just have it in here. Um, uh, so uh, on on this one, this one uh, camera, um, uh, you can easily. Uh, yeah, it's pretty okay. So so uh, there's a, there's a lights. So if you want to uh, have some lights on, ooh, and they are actually pretty, pretty bright one lights. I don't want to push it on the camera because the camera will be <laughs> blinded. So so yeah, it's a pretty powerful lights, which is handy, especially when you're flying on on nighttime and other. So all right, and it works finally with the A3S, uh, even though. Ubex says uh, three to six, uh, six to six to twelve S, so it's uh, 
Okay. And uh, it's a... Um, uh, I think it's using a... Yeah, diversity system. So, so uh, the connection quality should be pretty good one with this one. This one device overall. And, and, and. But like I said, uh, I will add all the uh, information uh, on the descriptions down below. So, so um, you can look more from there. And, and, and uh, there. So. Yeah, you can look more from there on the descriptions and uh, yeah, remember, subscribe to receive a, a, a uh, information of the new videos and uh, fly hard, build a lot of stuff. And if you have any questions, comments or whatever, remember, send a message to in here and, and uh, I can look in your close future to make a, a, a uh, one video of how to connect this one, for example, in uh, uh, APM systems, uh, uh, Pixhawk, the cube, or, or whatever, the uh, autopilot systems, and others, what we are working a lot in here. So uh, those will be coming later on. And same, same thing with that uh, AK28HD uh, model, uh, which have a, a HDMI input and HDMI decoders and stuff like that. So. I will be and I will be putting a link on that one video when it's ready on the description below. All right, um, that's about it on this one video. So uh, send the comments and and have fun. Bye bye. Thank you.